Okay. In this video, I am going to talk about motion. Motion is a change in position of an object over time. That means if the position of an object changes with respect to time, then we can say the object is in motion. As shown in this. Okay, so position. Basically, what do you mean by position? I'll explain reference point or origin known as O. And let the location of the object be at this point, that is A. Now, the position of this object A with respect to the origin can be described as follows. Okay, so the distance between O and A is 3 km. Okay, describe the position of A. We can say that it is 3 km from the origin. But it still doesn't give the correct position of A as the direction is still not specified. So we have to also describe the direction that is to the right of origin. 3 kilometers from right of origin this object A is located. Hence, we can say that position of an object can be described by the distance with respect to a reference point. Reference point and also the direction that has to be traversed from the reference point. Motion is described in terms of these are the terms by which we can describe motion that is by displacement, distance, velocity, acceleration, time and speed. Here if this object is started from this point that is the origin and is right now at this position that is from 3 kilometers from this origin to the right of origin and we can say that the distance is 3 kilometer the displacement is also 3 kilometer displacement is actually the shortest distance between these points that is between O and A that is shortest distance it needn't be equal to distance the speed can be found out by Dividing the distance traveled by time taken to reach the position A. That is, if we took uh, one hour for an object to reach from O to A, we can say that the speed is 3 km per hour. In physics, measurable quantities can be divided into vector and scalar. Scalar quantities are measured only as good magnitude. Magnitude, while a vector quantity is measured with respect to magnitude as well as direction. Uh, distance as we have seen earlier is a scalar quantity. Since only it only has magnitude, it doesn't vary with direction. On the other hand, displacement is a vector quantity. 
for example, this is the origin. At first, the object is at this position. Then it goes to this position, that is point A, which is located about 2 kilometers from O. Then it goes to point B, which is located at 1 kilometer from O. When you consider the total distance travelled, the total distance travel will be 2 kilometers up to here, then 1 kilometer backward, that is 3 kilometers total. But when you consider displacement, it is only 1 kilometer. Only 1 kilometer is the displacement. It is the shortest distance between the origin point and the final point. Now speed. Already I have told that speed is the distance travelled per unit time. It is how fast an object is moving. Speed is a scalar quantity. That is it only has got magnitude. You can call this as the magnitude of the velocity vector. Velocity on the other hand is a vector quantity having both magnitude as well as direction. The rate and direction of change in position of an object that is velocity. Is the rate and direction of change in the position of an object. Then acceleration. This is also a vector quantity. Vector quantity and it is defined as the rate of change of velocity of an object with respect to time. That is if V is the final velocity and U is the initial velocity, acceleration is equal to V minus U by T, where T is the time taken. Okay, these are the basic formulas. That is average speed is equal to total distance travelled divided by the total time taken. We can find the average velocity by using this formula that is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. And the formula of acceleration as we have seen earlier that is change in velocity divided by time taken is V minus U by T. Now uniform motion and non uniform Motion can be divided into two types based on the rate of change of distance with respect to time. If the rate of change of distance with respect to time is equal for equal intervals, then we can say that the object is in uniform motion. That is, it, that is if distance is directly proportional to time. As shown in this distance time graph, distance and time. Here it is shown by a straight line passing through the origin. This is for uniform motion. This is uniform motion. On the other hand, the case of non uniform motion, the rate of change of distance with respect to time is unequal we can see here here delta t delta d d1 delta t1 here it is delta d2 delta t1 here delta d2 is greater than delta d1 and hence we get a curve the graph of non-uniform motion in the case of distance time graph is a parabolic curve now motion along a straight line 
और लीनियर मोशन और रेक्टीलीनियर मोशन दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी कॉल्ड रेक्टीलीनियर मोशन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ मोशन this is an object try it specifies the how an object travels in a straight line example for example a car traveling along a straight road From this we can find the speed, velocity, distance, displacement by the earlier mentioned formulas. Okay. Now these are the equations of motion with respect to this linear motion. The first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus a t, where v is the final velocity. u is the initial velocity a is the acceleration and t is the time taken second equation of motion for linear motion is s is equal to ut plus half at square where s is the distance traveled u is the initial velocity t is the time taken and a is the acceleration the third equation of motion is 2as is equal to v square minus u square these equations can be used to describe the motion of the body and the values can be substituted to find various quantities that is we want to find the acceleration of a body from the distance the initial velocity and time we can use this formula that is initial acceleration is equal to v square minus u square by 2s so by using this equation it is possible to find the acceleration the final velocity the initial velocity etc based on the values given okay now the final slide is about uniform circular motion uniform circular motion can be described as the motion of an object in a circle at a constant speed as shown in this figure this car is at a constant speed it is going in this circular path its direction is constantly changing the object is moving tangential to the circle that is the motion is always tangential to the circle here the formula for the velocity of this body in circular motion is given that is v is equal to 2 pi r by t where v is the velocity r is the radius of the circular path and t is the time taken to traverse this path so that is the end of this session if you have got any doubts about the mentioned topics you can always comment in the comment section below thank you